everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and today I'm taking a look at the Target exclusive Lego Batman movie pack which this has one exclusive minifigure which this is Batgirl and it also comes with the movie on Blu-ray, DVD and digital HD which this is only at Target and it also includes three collectible postcards inside there so let's take a look at the box first which you can see that we got the exclusive items that are only at Target right here which this is still inside the shrink wrap that I had it in which I'll be taking that off once I get in here obviously it includes two discs it looks like and we got three postcards and we got our exclusive minifigure which is inside a poly bag so let's take a look at what we got in here so first let's start taking a rip towards the side of the cellophane right here Okay, so here is our overall item that we got here. Looks like we can open it from this side right here, so that looks good. Okay, so let's take out our items that we got inside here. So first off, obviously we got the movie. Next we got our poly bag, and then we got our postcards that we got inside here. So let me just throw the box over to the side, throw this stuff over to the side. Here's our movie that we got. I love that cover. That cover slip is so awesome. I just love the design of it. This will probably go up on my wall or something, or I might just stay over the movie. Um, otherwise, on the back, you can see um, some of the details and like pretty much like the plot and everything going on. Um, some minifigure pictures. Let's take the movie out, which that just shows the same thing going on right there. I'm just going to take it over here and take a scissor to it just so then I can show you the contents of inside the movie okay so inside the movie we got inside here we got obviously the disc so let's just take a look at what we got going on right there so this is the one disc that we got for the blu-ray version which that's very cool um, looks like they didn't um, stack the discs inside here this time um, this I'm going to have to blur out right here, this code, so that's just to get it on all that stuff. Um, also, we got an advertisement for um, the Lego Batman movie Summer Wave, which out of this entire wave, I don't own any of them yet. But obviously, I really, really want that one, which comes with um, the Wicked Witch and also the Flying Monkeys and all that all the cool minifigures pretty much come inside there since pretty much all the rest of these characters have already been released except for like Bane and of course Two-Face and some of them and Scarecrow also now that I just wanted to say that also we got some advertisements for Lego Life and for Lego Land and also more Lego Land um, information after that so those are our things that we got and also over here we got our last disc right here which this is the movie I think so that might the other disc might actually be um, uh, or maybe the special features are also included on both discs so that's really cool we got our two discs and then all the other information which I'll just slide in right over there there is our movie that we got that I'll just throw right there next we got our poly bag which is going to be the miniature review for um, right today pretty much since I'm going to be opening this right after I show off the rest of the contents since I didn't really want to consider this a miniature review at first but then I decided you know what there's a poly bag in here might as well make it a miniature review it should be a miniature review miniature reviews are all about poly bags so we've got a poly bag in here I'm going to show that off but first, I'm just going to open this up right here. And this includes our postcards, which we got the first one with Batman, which says, Hello, New York City. Which then you could write all your stuff on the back of that one. Next one we have, Does Not Travel Well With Others, which we have the Taj Mahal. And also we got Batman and we got Robin. And then over here we got Batman inside his bathing suit, which... That's very funny. I just like that picture. It's very nice. And we got like some friend's house like in the background. That's what it looks like. 
Um, but those are our three postcards that we got, which these I probably will not use since they're pretty much collectibles and goes well with our movie. So otherwise we got our poly bag right here, which I'm going to end up opening very soon. I'm going to just carefully open up right at the top over here. Then we can get to our minifigure inside. So inside here we got our cape. And then we got all the pieces to build our figure and then the instructions, which I'll take a closer look at near the end. I sort of ripped this open a little bit more than I thought I would, but, you know, I'm still saving the bag. It's still nice. And I still didn't grab one piece out of there, which is an extra batarang. So this I'm going to take out from in here. Then I can show off everything inside here, which this isn't actually even an instruction manual. This just shows some of the sets that are currently available, which you'll probably see reviews for these two sets right here. This one, the Batcave, and also the Joker's Lowrider very soon since I didn't really get to recording a video for them yet since I got them like like around December-ish. And these two sets I don't own quite yet, but I don't know if I'll get them. Maybe if they go on clearance. And then there's an advertisement for the Lego Batman movie website, which um, you can go to with the link and all that good stuff. So this I could just toss over here. And now here are all of our pieces. And what is this supposed to be? Oh, wait, this is her ponytail. I just noticed that. Okay, so now we can just start putting together our minifigure that we got. So here is... Batgirl, which I like that new um, uh, head that we got, but wait, we got to open up the cape. I'm not even building the full minifigure today. That's just crazy. Okay, so let's open that up. Let's take out the cape that we got in there. Nothing else inside that. Okay, so then we can display the cape like such, which I like these capes because they're very shiny, most of the Lego Batman movie capes that they have been giving us. Now there's our exclusive head piece, which I'm going to put on right there, and then we can put in ponytail, and then the batarang, which I think that both of the hands get a batarang based on there, so we get one extra batarang for our overall character. So these are our extra pieces that we got. We got um, a yellow batarang and we got one of these um, belt pieces right here which is very nice to get which we've got a lot of these since the Lego Batman movie came out and now my camera can't focus on it but it all works out. But you pretty much know what I'm talking about even though it's a little blurry. This is what we got and then we have our batarang which I'll just slide those right there just for fun and now let's take a look at Batgirl right here so right here we have Batgirl let's hopefully cross our fingers that it comes out in good quality there we go um so here is Batgirl obviously we got lots of good printing on the legs of the figure dual molded legs with the printing it's very nice to see some of that nowadays um we got some printing on the back of the torso of the figure which I'll just show when I take off that cowl right there so here we go and we also have one of those utility belts used on this minifigure as well there's some printing on the front of the torso and there's printing on the sides of the arms it's a double molded sided head so here we got the front of the head which you can see that she's winking on that side and then over here she's a little bit more furious and all that stuff going on and then we can put back on the cowl which you can see that there's a little peg right here that can connect the ponytail piece for the minifigure, which I thought this was rather clever for them to be doing with the characters. So since this is a rather new piece for them to be using. Um, and then there we go. That's back row. I'll just flip right there so then you can see what the other side of the head would look like. And also, like I said before, this cape is just very nice because I like the shiny stuff that's going on with that and then we have our two batarangs so that is Batgirl and now I'm gonna show off Batgirl but this one is from the Joker's Lowrider set so I'm just decided I might as well compare them because they're different figures in my opinion so 
here is Batgirl and then we have the other Batgirl. So I'm just going to take off both of the Batarangs from that one. So I'm just going to be showing them off at the same time just to show off some of the other minor differences which you can see that they have the same torso and the same legs and everything up to the head. Everything up to the head is the same. I'm just going to show them upside down just so then I don't have to actually flip my view and everything. But otherwise, the heads, I'm just going to take off both of the cowls right here. So you can see that the difference inside the heads, which here she's winking. And then I'm just going to do this just for fun. And then pretty much the same exact face, just a little bit different um, for the figure. Um, so it's very nice to get two different figures. Um, even though it's just the head, I mean, I think Lego could have actually given us, like, a different figure for this exclusive. Like, we could have gotten Condiment King or something like that, which that would have been widely appreciated by most fans. But we don't know if there is going to be, like, another wave of sets coming out next year, which pretty much I already know that there will be at least, like, two or three sets coming out in the beginning of next year, which that'll be very nice, which one of them will be Egghead's Mac which that could have been a possibility for a figure to come out, but really I think that we could have gotten a different figure other than Batgirl. But other than that, I wanted to show off one more Batgirl just to make this sort of like an also collection video since this is the Batgirl that came out inside 2014 inside one of the Steamroller, the Joker Steamroller set, which I don't know if that's correct, but otherwise this is another Batgirl minifigure, which you can see that the like, hair is actually connected to the cowl on there, and it's a double-sided head, which I really like this head. It's um, uh, very useful, but I don't have very much of it, which it's very hard to reuse heads, but I think this is also used on another minifigure other than this Batgirl figure. And then we have printing on the front of the torso. I think there's some printing on the back as well. I'm just going to take off the cowl and show that off, which that's the other printing. Also, I like this cape inside this color. It's very nice um, for Batgirl, which I hope we get another um, uh, Batgirl minifigure soon inside our DC sets, but we don't know if that's going to happen quite yet, but there's plenty to um, work on based on that. So here is all of our characters that we got and everything that's going on. I'm just going to center everything so then we can show it all off inside the video so here are our extra pieces that we got and then some batarangs going on right there so I'll just give each of them one so there is everything that we got inside here I'm just gonna move that out of the way and clear the camera so these are all the stuff that we got inside this little video that we got here which I sort of consider a miniature review for today since we got our one poly bag which was Batgirl which I didn't actually see the number on the poly bag since I didn't really get to showing it off. So here is the poly bag, which this is set number 30612, which is nine pieces for the minifigure. And then the back. So that was our poly bag, which is in the center right here. You can see that we have our normal Batgirl, and this is the one from the Lowrider, and this is one of the original ones that came inside one of the DC themed sets. Um and also in the background, you can see that we got our postcards and we got the movie itself, which if you want to see a review on the entire movie, which will be full of spoilers and lots of spoilers for those of you who are not really into watching movies about stuff. So um, just shoot me a comment down below saying I would love to see a review on the Lego Batman movie and um, if that gets a positive review, then I might do future um, videos on that type of reviewing of like movies and stuff like right before they come out or something like that I don't know um but otherwise um shoot me a like if you like this video um remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so then you know every time I upload a new video and I will see you next time bye <laughs>